Hello there, my name is Ismas, and today let's look at how to exp how to import our uh, different file formats into Blender. Uh, so, if you go under File, Import, you can see a list of all the file formats that Blender can import. And uh, yes, yeah, so just to make this tutorial very short, I'm just going to use uh, the FBS FBX uh, format because that's also the most uh, standard, almost used uh, file format when you're exporting uh, different objects. So, uh, let's try that out. Uh, so. I have a project uh, that I worked on here uh, inside Blender, but I exported different formats because I, I sell 3D models and I want people who buy the model uh, to be able to use the model regardless of what application they are using. Uh, that's why I exported different formats that are most common to uh, different 3D applications. You can see I have the Blend file, uh, ABC, uh, then I have BAE, OB OBJ, and then FBX and other formats. So just assume that uh, these formats who came in from a different, were exported from a different uh, 3D pro program, maybe Maya, 3D Max, 3DS Max, or uh, Cinema 4D. So because I don't have 3D Max or any other 3D application, I'm just going to just assume that this these came in from uh, such uh, programs. So to import them, you can just, just drag, drag and drop uh, like, like a blend file. file. Uh, it, it won't work. work. Uh, let me just show you. If we, if we just drag and drop this, you can see because it's a blend file, Blender recognize it, recognizes it as a project and you can open it directly and uh, you can see how it looks. Uh, actually, let me, let me, let me leave uh, this project here open uh, so that we can look at the difference between uh, the blend file and what we import uh, in a different Blender project. So let me in, open up a, another Blender project here and see if there is nothing. Uh, let me also delete everything so that we, the scene is empty and now we can see what is imported and what is not. So in the original project, we can see we have uh, the mesh, we have uh, the light, we have also uh, this camera. So let's go under file, import FBX and find other project. You can see the FBX file is here. Because we selected FBX, it's ignoring all the other project files that are there. So let's just select FBX and then hit import. You can see it imported the camera, uh, the light, and the mesh. And uh, it also imported uh, the materials. So if we go to shading, you can see we also have uh, the, the materials, materials uh, there. there. And we, we also, also have uh, all the nodes set up for us. And uh, this is because FBX supports uh, material exports or supports materials as well. So if you have another application uh, that recognizes uh, the PBR uh, texturing uh, material setup, it will also import uh, those uh, textures for you directly and uh, organize them as you see that, as you see how it's, be, how it's been done here. Uh, the problem is if you try exporting, so let's go to this original file. I think I have a different file here. Yeah, so if you try exporting a material like this, uh, Blender won't, FBX won't handle it correctly because it doesn't have uh, such nodes as uh, are these in Blender. So what you, you would want to do is uh, bake them into a diffuse uh, roughness, normal map, and other maps you want to use, and then export, and then connect them as a PBR texture uh, so that FBX, because FBX recognizes FB, uh, PBR materials that come with textures like the diffuse uh, roughness and normal. Uh, so, so if, if you export, export that uh, with all these nodes collapsed into different uh, maps, uh, you will have, you will successfully import that material into the different, uh, into other, into other uh, 3D applications. So as you can see that uh, this comes uh, with that already set up and uh, when I was exporting this, uh, this material, I baked everything into different maps. So let's look at uh, other differences we see. I can see that uh, this is quite low resolution, but the original the original uh, project file uh, is has uh, so has the subdivision surface modifier and uh, it's very smooth, uh, more than uh, this FBX export we have, import we have got. So uh, the reason we, we're seeing that is that uh, when I was exporting this, I didn't want uh, the subdivision surfaces applied. Uh, so if it's applied, you'd have a very dense mesh uh, like this. 
and uh, so what I did is uh, let me first undo this. I disabled that and then exported so that all 3D application, at least are the most professional ones, come with some kind of subdivision surface modifier or something equivalent to that. I think 3ds Max has Turbo Smooth. I think that's what it's called. Uh, so, so if someone wanted to add something like a subdivision surface uh, modifier uh, using a 3D another 3D application, I, I wanted them to just to have that option, um, not just use what is already what I not just use what I've applied here because you can see this is a very dense mesh and uh, if someone was trying to use this maybe in a, in a game it would be too much uh, for the game but uh, uh, here if I just export it as a low poly like this uh, they have the option to whether to just keep it as is or add a subdivision uh, modifier uh, yeah so I just want wanted them to have the option to do that so that's why you see that uh, it's coming out like this but uh, if I add again the subdivision modifier you can see you you bear you, there won't be any difference and uh, since it, it has the, the same uh, materials, materials and, and uh, also the mesh, mesh comes with UVs as you can see here the FPS FBX format and uh, most uh, standard formats will export uh, the UV grid as well the UV map as well so you can see how that looks and uh, you can also look at uh, the different maps that I baked I think it's the roughness and uh, is it let me make sure that I'm in the right project so this is I think yes yeah, so you can see we have the normal map we have uh, the transmission I don't think there was any transmission for this so yeah sometimes FBX will mess up uh, the nodes a bit so if you find that uh, uh, the maps have been uh, switched around you can come back and uh, change them a bit and uh, if I examine this more you can see that uh, this is uh, the color map fed into the roughness so it should be the roughness so let me just find that so this is uh, the roughness so you want to go in and uh, make sure that, uh, that, that is corrected, corrected. I think, I think this is, is just a bug because, because I changed this to roughness and uh, it's still showing color map but if we preview this you can see it's actually uh, the roughness map so I think that's not an issue with the FBX import it's just a bug and yeah I, I don't think we had a transmission because there is no transparency on this object so yeah that's how you import FBX into Blender thank you for watching